Hi everyone. The next topic is f random variable and f distribution. So remember that t distribution has one parameter uh, that is degrees of freedom. And depending on the parameter, the shape of the t distribution is different. And f distribution have the two parameters. One is so-called numerator degrees of freedom or degrees of freedom one. And the other is denominator degrees of, degrees of freedom or degrees of freedom two. And f distribution is, f random variable is defined by chi-square random variable with bfm divided by m divided by chi-square distribution with dfn div divided by n. So this is the ratio of two chi-square distribution. And chi-square distribution usually represents some variance. So that means the var f statistic, f random variable calculates the ratio of two variances. So typically if we have some statistical model and we have one variance sigma one square, another variance sigma one two square, then we think about estimate of this. Then we think about the ratio. So f statistic, f random variable is used to see what's the distribution of sigma one hat square over sigma two hat square. So this is particularly useful when we compare the two linear model. For example, let's think about the y is equal to beta naught plus beta one x plus um, beta two x square plus epsilon. And another model is beta naught plus beta one x plus some parameter zeta. And okay, so the first model have more variable, more predictor. So we expect that the size of variance epsilon is smaller than the size of um, variance of zeta. So if we think about variance of epsilon, for example, epsilon follows normal zero, sigma one square, and zeta follows normal, zero sigma two square, then by comparing this ratio of two variances, the, you can see the, which model have smaller variance and how much uh, the variance is smaller. So if statistic, if distribution that is used to represent the, that kind of uh, random variables. And this normalizer M and N uh, just makes the denominator has expectation one and the numerator have expectation one. So you can see that the, this is chi-square, this random variable on both numerator and the denominator, and each term has expectation of one. So if we have M terms, then expectation is M because the, each term is the square of standard normal square. So if we divide by M, then on average, the numerator is one. And also on average, the denominator is one. So typical value of F is around one. And the shape of the distribution is most of the time, this kind of skewed distribution. And if degrees of freedom one is small, often we have this kind of distribution. If DF1 and DF2 are both large, we have almost this kind of normal distribution, but the slightly heavier tile, uh, heavier tail on the right hand side. <clears throat> so this is the idea of F distribution and the definition of F distribution. Yeah. And F distribution um, can be um, used in R by using the same kind of function. Excuse me. Um, RF function and PF function, QF function, and um, 
what the PQR and DF function. For example, if you want to calculate probability of F distribution with DF1 is equal to 2 and DF2 is equal to 5 of is less than, for example, 0 0.8, then this is calculated by PF 0 0.8. DF1 equals to 2 and DF2 equals 5. So in R, you can use uh, this code to calculate this. Okay, so now that we finished all distributions and we're going to review the, what's the, dis the um, relationship between variables. The F distribution, F random variable is the ratio of two chi-square um, random variable and chi-square is also represented by the standard normal distribution. And there are some good um, pictures on how statistical distributions are related. And one famous one is the, in a book, the Kasseler and Berger's book, The Statistical Inference. So this is a very classic book and used in many places and start 5800 uses this textbook. Um, or maybe no, the start 5800 is using a slightly um, easier textbook, but the, this textbook is used in many statistics department, even in PhD program. And also this article has a little more uh, comprehensive um, map on how distributions are related. So this is actually the picture of Casella and Barger's um, textbook. So you can see the normal zero one, normal distribution with mean zero and the standard deviation one is here. And if you add some constant and you multiply this random variable by sigma, you can make the normal distribution of mean um, with mean mu and the variance sigma square. And another way, um, if we apply the inverse of this function, then um, we get the normal zero one again. And the chi-square distribution is the sum of the square, the standard normal distribution. So chi-square distribution is here. And if you take the ratio of chi-square distribution, that is F distribution. And the T distribution, so remember that the T distribution with DF nu, if we square it, this becomes F distribution with DF1 and um, nu. So yeah, so this holds. So you can just see the definition. T is the normal divided by square root of chi-square over the degrees of freedom. So if you square it, then the denominator, we only have, uh, sorry, the numerator, we have only one the squared standard normal and the denominator, we have N. So um, if the, we replace N by nu here, but the T square is basically F distribution. So if we take square in some sense, T becomes F distribution. And some other famous distributions are here, such as Cauchy or log normal or gamma distribution, uh, beta distribution, uniform exponential, Weibull and double exponential. So if we see, you see this map, you can see the how distributions, uh, random variables are constructed from more basic random variables. Okay, so this is the end of the chapter three.